The IRA headquarters were here, a caravan shielded by a wall of concrete at Clochlin, just 50 yards from the border. Deserted farm sheds next door were used to store explosives. Groups of IRA men stayed here regularly, using the shelter of their concrete bunker to fire on British troops. The walls of the farm building show the accuracy of the returning fire. Today, the caravan was empty and padlocked. The Royal Welsh Fusiliers, who patrol this stretch of the border, described in court as the main battle line between the IRA and the army, have suffered repeated attacks from gunmen operating from the caravan. 60% of their patrols in this area are fired on, and the roads here are often mined. The army are reluctant to comment on police action taken in Southern Ireland, but officers I spoke to welcomed what appears to be the new tougher line against the IRA taken by the Dublin government. But incidents along the border still continue. An off-duty corporal in the Ulster Defence Regiment was shot dead outside his farm this morning at Ochnacloy. Mr Frank Cadu, aged 24, was pulled from his tractor and shot twice in the head. The gunman escaped over the border at Monaghan, just two miles away. Their stolen car was later found burned out. Mr Cadu leaves a one-year-old daughter and his wife is expecting another baby. And in Belfast today, there were more bombs. This one wrecked a radio and electrical shop in the city centre. Two gunmen left the bomb at the back of the building and shouted a warning. There were no casualties. Within an hour, another bomb wrecked the Ministry of Health building half a mile away. The bomb was planted under a stairway by a man and a woman. Again, no one was hurt, but there was extensive damage. 